The Pink Panther is a 1963 comedy film that was directed by Blake Edwards. It's the first installment of the Pink Panther franchise. The story follows Inspector Clouseau as he travels to catch a notorious jewel thief known as the Phantom that's there trying to steal a priceless diamond called the Pink Panther. The movie stars David Niven, Peter Sellers, Robert Wagner, Capucine, and Claudia Cardinelli. In the early 1960s, director Blake Edwards came up with an idea for a heist movie in which a jewel thief is having an affair with the wife of the detective who's pursuing him. Then he cast Peter Sellers as that detective, and everything changed. With Edwards' comedic instincts and Sellers' natural gift, the detective became the star, and Inspector Clouseau was born. Though its sequels have often left something to be desired, the original Pink Panther is still almost universally hailed as a comic classic. When Blake Edwards first came up with the idea for the storyline to play the debonair jewel thief Sir Charles Lytton, Edwards ended up choosing David Niven. Then Peter Sellers was cast as Inspector Clouseau, and that led to he and Edwards improvising various comedy bits, which greatly expanded Sellers' screen time. By the end of the filming, it was very much Clouseau's movie, and Nevin was so disappointed that he requested the Pink Panther theme not be played when he appeared at the Academy Awards in the following years. It's really hard to imagine anyone but Sellers playing this role in the film, but he wasn't the original one cast for this part. Edwards originally cast Peter Ustinoff in this role, and he cast Ava Gardner as Clouseau's wife. With just two weeks to go before shooting began, the producers decided that Ava Gardner's erratic lifestyle could affect the filming, and they decided not to offer her the part. Capucine was then hired in a hurry, but Peter Ustinoff's wife felt that this would affect the caliber of the production and told him to withdraw from it. From all of this chaos, Peter Sellers became an international superstar. To play the captivating Princess Dalla, who was the owner of the Pink Panther Jewel, the director originally wanted Audrey Hepburn, who he had previously worked with on Breakfast at Tiffany's from 1961. He was unsuccessful at getting her for this part and ended up casting Claudia Cardinelli instead. Peter Sellers was somewhat of a naturally pudgy man, and he wanted to be in better shape for the film, in part because he wanted to rival the movie star looks of co-star Robert Wagner. So he took massive amounts of diet pills in order to shed the weight. This very well could have contributed to the series of major heart attacks that he had between the completion of the film and the Pink Panther's release. Sellers got his start in radio and was more of a verbal comedian than a physical one, but he really hoped to add slapstick to his arsenal with this role. Though he wasn't a natural at it, he got the character's physical comedy from the director himself, who was naturally clumsy. The lovely Claudia Cardinelli had her voice dubbed in the film, and she did in almost all of the releases that she did for an American audience because she didn't speak very good English at all. So they replaced her voice with Canadian actress Gail Garnett. An animated Pink Panther was created for the opening credits of the movie because the writer and director felt that the credits would benefit from some sort of cartoon character. That Pink Panther that you see introduced in the opening credits became a popular film and television character in his own right. In the original script, Inspector Clouseau was characterized as a straight, sober, dignified policeman. This obviously changed considerably when Peter Sellers took over the role. 
His violin playing that you see is an homage to the most famous violin playing detective of all time, Sherlock Holmes. For the scene where David Nevin skis alongside Princess Dalla, Nevin took a day to practice on the slopes wearing the costume that they prepared for him. The problem was that the costume was far too thin for the frigid temperatures that they were experiencing at the time. He ended up getting frostbite on his private parts and in true self-medicating form, using the reasoning that alcohol made you feel warm, he dipped these parts in a glass of whiskey. He said it really worked, but the pain was terribly intense. The movie was supposed to be a vehicle for David Niven so he was extremely annoyed when Peter Sellers became the breakout star, despite his role intending to be a supporting actor part. After Sellers' performance got all the headlines and most of the laughs, Nevin felt that if he resurrected the role for a future installment, he would have effectively been given a supporting role, so he passed on appearing on any of the sequels. But he did return after Sellers died in Trail of the Pink Panther and Curse of the Pink Panther when Nevin himself was extremely ill and needed the money. However, both of these films made back-to-back were critical and commercial failures. The sequel to the Pink Panther, A Shot in the Dark, wasn't supposed to be a Panther sequel at all, but an adaption of a stage play of the same name. Sellers was contracted to make the film, but he was unhappy with the way the production was going. He called Blake Edwards and asked him for help. He told him that he didn't like the whole setup at all and asked him to step in and try to remedy the problems. Edwards read the script and agreed to make the film if he could rework it into including Clouseau. Sellers agreed and arranged for Edwards to be the new director and then they reworked the script to make it into a Clouseau comedy. After Sellers' death, Edwards produced Trail of the Pink Panther in 1982, using unused footage of Sellers. But he wasn't done with the series yet. In The Curse of the Pink Panther in 1983, the character appears in a cameo only, and is played by Roger Moore. The explanation for this is that Clouseau had had plastic surgery to change his appearance. These films didn't perform well at the box office at all, so the franchise went on hiatus until Son of the Pink Panther in 1993. Now, an extreme accident happened during the bathtub scene involving Capucine and Robert Wagner. You see, they used an industrial-strength foaming agent to make the bath bubbles. It was supposed to make it extra foamy, and that's what it did. But the problem was, these chemicals burned their skin terribly. Capucine was burned to the point to where she was uncomfortable for over a week, and this temporarily blinded Wagner for about three weeks, because he had been underwater, and his eyes had come in contact with these bubbles, and they actually scarred the corneas of his eyes. There was great concern that this could have caused permanent damage to his eyesight, but he eventually recovered. Take a look at this funny 1963 classic. It's always a hoot watching Peter Sellers. He's outrageously funny. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.